Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to make displacement roads. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your block tool. Create a block that is going to be your road. So I'm just going to create it about 512 by 2048. Press enter. Now go to your selection tool. Shift drag it out. Hold shift and just drag. Now rotate it by pressing control M and rotate it 90 on the Z axis. Make sure it's uh, on the corner right here, like this. Now you're going to want to look for a texture. It's going to look for a road. And I'll choose this texture. Rotate this 90 degrees if it doesn't align. And do fit. Make sure that the X and the Y is the same. So 0 0.5 on both. Do the same for here and it should automatically work. If it doesn't, just click fit and then make sure they're both the same. Now, create a block in the middle. Click enter. Now this length right, or this width right here, it is, we're going to want to make this double the length. So this is 512, we should get 1024. So see that? Double what it is on the width. Now shift drag, control M, and rotate it 90 degrees. Make sure they're intersecting with each other like that. Now drag this so that it is not on the node draw. And same thing here. Apply the textures to each. And now these roads should be intersecting. Now we're going to the displacement part. Click on it, go to displacement, and click create. This can be whatever you want, but I recommend three. I don't recommend four, it's kind of broken. Create it there. And do another create displacement right there. Now, click on it right here. Go to your clipping tool, or shift X for short and drag a clip onto the corners, like one corner to the other. So this here to right here. And you'll see that these are both white. So just click on the clipping tool again, and you'll see this side turn red. If this side turns red, just click it again. And we want to make the smaller side red, so that means it'll get cut off. So press enter, and you'll see that it is in a shape of like a triangle at the top. Now, intersect it here as well. Make sure that this side is red, so I'm just going to click it, and this side will be red, and click enter. Now we've got that part done. Click, select them both, just click and control click. Go to your text, your application tool, click displacement, and this is what you do to make them curve. Click on subdivide, and you'll see it works very well. Now we're going to create uh, the sidewalks. So I'm just going to get the no draw texture and make it about 256. Click enter. Going to get a texture, so sidewalk, and apply it. Now to make a curved uh, sidewalk, just Drag this down so that it lines up with this this line right here. They just draw an invisible line. Should line up right here. And do another one for the other side. So it goes right here. Now you get the arch tool. And create a arch right here. Click enter. <clears throat> now um this is uh, 256. We're going to want to make it half of that. So create an arch, click enter. Cl make the wall width a half of that. So it was 256. So it should be 128. Make the number of sides about 4. An arc of about 90. And leave the rest. Click OK. Now drag it on. And it should be good. You can select them all and bring them up a bit. 
decrease the grid size and bring it up. Perfect. Now you can shift drag this. Just shift drag. Make your grid size bigger if you want. And also shift drag over here. And leave a little space for the other curve. Now create get the cylinder tool. Make it 32 sides right here, so 32. Now create a block here. Right here. Click enter. Get the clipping tool. <clears throat> Decrease your grid size by one if it's not big enough. So a little should be a little dot in the middle where you can clip. So just drag it, make sure one side's red, click enter, and do it again for another side. Control M to rotate it about 90 degrees. Put it into Q there. And align it up with the sidewalk. And drag it up so it's bigger. That is perfect. So now we're going to want to align this with the the sidewalks. I'm not. I'm just going to do it very roughly, but I'll give you the idea of how to do it. So get your displacement tool. Go into the face edit tool, displacement, and select them both. Like paint geometry, and make sure that the x axis is selected, or the y axis, depending on the orientation of your map. And just right click or left click. And you can start aligning it like this. Now I'm just going to do this very roughly. It's not going to, you shouldn't like just do it very roughly like what I'm doing it, but it, this is the, just a good idea in what to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do a better job if you spent more time on it, but now we're going to do the other side. So select them both, displacement, paint geometry, and uh, just right click and create a rough sidewalk. Yeah, you can do a much better job than me, but again, this is just for an example. You can keep on switching between the x-axis and the y-axis if you want to. Yeah, you can do way better job than that. And if this is not a lineup, you can always just do something like that. So it looks very smooth. And one last thing is to create a curb texture or get one. And look for a nice one. Just I'll just select this one and apply it to the curb. Just right click to apply it. This, this displacement way is much better than using brushes to create these. It's, uh, brushes are very unoptimized and will be, likely reach the limit. Like for example, I have a prefab here for them. Roads too. As you can see here, these aren't very optimized ways of doing it, but it does work. Displacements are much better. Have a good day and hopefully this helps you.